So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Pinterest conversion tag for your Shopify store so that you can track all the traffic that comes to your site from Pinterest. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for joining us for another video about Shopify and Pinterest. So this is our second video in our four part video series all about how Pinterest and Shopify work great together. So if you'd like to watch all the videos, then check out the full playlist in the info card above or in the description below. So in this video, we're going to be covering conversion tags. So all you have to do is add a little bit of code on your site and then Pinterest can actually track what actions people take whenever they come to your site from Pinterest. So this is super important for a couple different reasons. First off, you want to see exactly what actions people are taking if they're visiting your site, if they're adding a product to the cart, signing up for your email newsletter, or even checking out on your site. You want to know just in terms of how people are coming to your site from Pinterest and how it's performing, but especially if you're going to be doing any kind of paid advertising with Pinterest, it is crucial to know how those paid ads are going. And if you don't have this set up, well, you're going to be kind of shooting in the dark. So either way, if you're doing paid advertising or you're just wanting to use Pinterest more for your business, setting this up on your site is crucial. So let's go ahead and hop into my computer and I'm going to show you real quick how to set up the conversion tag for Pinterest on your Shopify store. Okay, so now I am in my Shopify backend and we're going to have to add this Pinterest conversion tag to two different areas of our Shopify store. So I am back in the online store themes area of my Shopify store and I'm going to go real quick to my Pinterest profile and get the code that we need to add to our theme first. So I'm going to click back to my Pinterest tab here and I'm on my profile, but I'm going to click on ads and then conversions. And you can see here I have my in all home tag and I'm going to just click on this and I could change the name if I wanted to, but let's go ahead and move to this first step, which is install the base code. So I'm just going to click this arrow down to get the code. So this is what I'm going to just copy. And I'm going to put this in the head tags of my theme. So I've got that code copied and I'm going to go back to my Shopify store. Again, it's under online store themes and this is our active theme. So I'm just going to click on actions and edit code. And I am on the theme.liquid file, but if it doesn't open automatically for you, you would look here under layout and then theme.liquid, and that's going to be what you want to click on. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is find where the head tags are. So you can see here it says head tag, and that's the opening one. And then you can see here the closing head tag because it has the slash through it. So we're going to want to paste this code that we just copied from Pinterest in between these two tags. So here is another Pinterest code that I have set up from the last video of claiming our website. So I'm just going to hit enter and I'm going to paste this underneath it. So that way all of our Pinterest code is together. And then I'm going to hit save in the upper right hand corner. So this is the base code for Pinterest. So now let's go back and add the actual conversion code. So I'm going to go back to my Pinterest tab. And now I'm going to click on this arrow for install the event code. So the code that we're going to want to add in is this checkout code. So we can just copy it here. And we're going to want to add this to a separate area of our Shopify store. So if we click back to the Shopify backend, we are now going to want to do this under our settings. So I'm going to just click on settings at the very bottom and then check out. And then if we scroll down, we can see an area called order processing here and this additional scripts area. So this is actually going to be adding this code to the checkout page of Shopify. So we are just going to paste this in here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. So this is going to track when we have a checkout on Shopify. Now we do want to change just a tiny bit around because it has this value right here of $100. So it's going to say that the order value is 100 and it may not always be the case. So we're going to have this dynamically pull in from our Shopify checkout area. So to do this, I'm just going to select the value of 100 
and I am going to instead type out some code. So I'm going to do two opening curly brackets and two closing curly brackets. And then in the middle of them, I'm going to do a space or two spaces and then say total price. So total underscore price and then a space and then one of the pipe bars. And then I'm going to do a space again and say money underscore without underscore currency. And so this is going to actually put in the correct value of whatever the Shopify order is. So it's total price without the currency. So this will pull in the correct value of the order for us now. Now you could also change this currency of USD if you had another currency that your store was offering, but our store is USD. So we're gonna keep that the same and we're just gonna hit save. Okay, so now we have the Pinterest conversion tag set up on our site and we are ready to go. Now, if we go back to Pinterest, the last step, if we scroll on down here, and there's other options that you can add in. However, we're just wanting to track conversions on our site at this time. Now, the last step is that you can actually install the Pixel Tag Helper, which is a Chrome extension, and you can verify that the code is set up correctly. Now, to do this, you would need to actually go to a checkout page just to make sure that it is working correctly. If you go to, you know, just a product page or your cart, you wouldn't see that in. However, uh, I am using Firefox, so it doesn't work on Firefox, it just works on Chrome. But if you're using Chrome, you can just click on this here and then go to your checkout page to verify that everything is working correctly. But we are done with this here, so we could just hit done. And now we have our Pinterest conversion tag set up and you're ready to do Pinterest ads and then also just see your overall traffic of Pinterest to your Shopify store. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. Now, in the next video, we are going to be covering another technical aspect of setting up your site for Pinterest and Shopify, and that's gonna be product rich pins, which is just another way to add additional information about your products onto your Pinterest pin. So make sure to stay tuned for that. You can actually hit that subscribe button below and be the first to be notified when we put out new videos all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.